everyone and welcome back to another vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and if you want to get notifications, click the bell because then you'll get a notification when my vlogs go up. But thank you either way for tuning in. So the lovely amazing people at Sage Publishing have asked me to do some reviews for some of their books which I am psyched about because I know a lot of you the first question you ask me is one of the ones is what books do I need for nursing and I've said before in previous vlogs I haven't really read any books and stuff so I'm really excited to finally review some books for you so that I can give you advice at last. So the first book that I am going to review Funnily enough, matches my lovely green jumper. <laughs> so I have got this one, which is the Nurses Anatomy, Physiology and Path... Oh, I can't say these words. <sighs> Pathophysiology. Yes, glossary. <laughs> so this is the one from Sage Publishing. They're also giving all of my viewers 25% off. I'm going to put the code below. Use that code if you want to purchase any books from them. Um, have a look around and see what sort of ones you want. And yeah, but I'm going to review a few books. So the books that I actually have got to review, I have got this one. And I've got this one. I know, it's in a sealed paper and everything. And this one is my, oh, I'm really excited for this one. The colouring book. So back to this book. So this book, this was written by Neil Cook, Andrea Shepherd, Jennifer Bohr or Boer, B-O-O-R-E, sorry if I've said that wrong, and Stephanie Dunleavy. And this is literally just a load of terminologies and definitions in this book. So key features of the book on the back says, prepare for practice, clear definitions and commonly used terminology, learn the language. So it's also got, which is good for me because I can't speak as you know, Learn the language, so phonics-based guidance on pronunciation. Yes, I haven't even read this book and this book's amazing. Deepen your knowledge, breaks down complex terms to aid understanding. This, why wouldn't you want this? This is, I needed this at the start of my first year. <laughs> why have I only just discovered this? Anyway, as you know, people that watch my vlogs, I really struggle with terminology and pronouncing things. So the first part of this book, part one, is all about dissecting words to aid understanding. So you have prefixes. A prefix appears at the beginning of a word, usually provides a clue as to what to expect in the word's meaning. Usually describes location and intensity. For example, a depot at the beginning of a word usually means it will refer to fat or lipids in some way. Breaking down the adipocytes is a good example of where adipo refers to fat and the suffix explained below. Okay, so then suffixes are placed at the end of words to change the original meaning, not to confuse you or anything. In terminology associated with anatomy and physiology and path though physiology, a suffix usually indicates a procedure, condition or disease. Lovely. So here we go. So we've got a list of pre prefixes here. You've got a slash an, which means without, ab, away from, add, towards, adden, um, pertaining to gland, aero, air, like aeroplane, <laughs> um, a depot, fat. If you think a depot, like lipo, maybe you can think fat, relate that maybe. Af is towards, anyway, I'm not going to go through all of these, but yes, you get it. The prefixes are at the front and the meanings of them. There's quite a few pages of that. And then on page seven, it goes into the suffix. So the suffix is these sort of things. If you can see that, you've got able or able, ability to be capable of, like being able to. Emia or emic pertaining or referring to blood. So we know anemia or being anemic is the blood, is to, you know it's to do with the blood and the iron. Aesthesia, condition of sedation. Um, al or R is pertaining to. Algia, referring to pain. Yeah, that makes sense, algia. So like analgesia, analgia, referring to pain. 
I mean, anyway, again, I'm not going to go through all of these. So I'm just going to go through to part two. Part two is the alphabetical glossary of this book. Um, so you've got, the, again, the term and the definition, which is a run, running theme throughout this book. You'll always have the term and definition, really, really simple and easy to understand by the looks of it. So you've got abduction, which is movement away from the middle line of the body. Abscess, a collection of pus restricted to a specific area in tissue, organs or combined space. I've seen an abscess and it's not pleasant, guys, especially when it explodes and you're not expecting it. <laughs> Ooh. OK, I've got a word. Sorry. <laughs> this word. We'll give it a go. So dynamic equilibrium. Actually, that wasn't that bad, but it's got underneath how to say it. So it says Equilibrium. 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 I can't say it now. Now I'm trying to focus on it. I can't say it. I said it perfectly to start with. Dynamic equilibrium. Equilibrium. Anyway, this is the maintenance of the body position in response to sudden movement and is perceived through rotational movement okay dynamic equilibrium <laughs> what else have we got in here let's just actually let's just go okay here we go oh no why would you do that to me okay so okay it's not that bad <laughs> myoglobinuria myoglobinuria and underneath it says my o glow bin your ear. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I love this. This is great. Which is presence of myoglobin in the urine. Okay. What is myoglobin? Lucky for you, the word above it is myoglobin. So myoglobin is a red coloured oxygen transmitting protein found only in muscles used to bind to oxygen. It consists of one heme molecule and one iron molecule attached to a single globin protein chain. Wow, I am learning. I know I'm qualified. I've got a degree, guys. What is wrong with me? This book is <laughs> just amazing. OK, let's do one more. OK. Okay, I found a cute word, which I had no idea. So this is ossicles. It's like icicles, but ossicles ready for Christmas, guys. So this is said like ossic ills. Oh, okay, ossicles, ossicles, ossicles. No, I like ossicles. Let's keep it at that. Okay, tiny bones in the ear that connect with the eardrum, transferring and magnifying sound vibration from the auditory canal to the inner ear. Ossicles. Oh, that's cute. I like that. And then at the very end of the book, you have part three for notes. You've got a few pages to make your own term and definitions and put things into a way that you're going to understand it from the book, which is what I like to do. Like I was giving examples then. I, I like to relate things to different things. That really helps me remember everything. Um, so all in all, this book has over 1900 essential terms explained. This book's amazing. Like I said, this is great. I wish I had this in my first year because this would have been a massive, massive help, I think. And your terminology just froze me, as you know. So this has been really good, really good to read. And now when I do my vlogs in future, I'm going to refer back to this because I'll know how to say a word. So all in all, this book is, yeah, I love this book. Not only does it match my jumper, but it's actually a really good read. It's really helpful, really useful to student nurses and qualified nurses out there that really struggle with terminology and how to pronounce things. This is a lifesaver. And if I was going to rate this book between a one to five, one being the lowest, five being the highest, I have to rate it a five. This is really simple, really easy to understand. It's got white pages, which I know is a really silly thing to judge a book on but I love crisp white pages I don't like that off creamy colour it makes me it makes it really hard for me to read and I'm not a reader as some of you know I like a white clean page and pictures that's the other thing um 
So this is just, it's really nice. It's really handy. It's quite small as well. So it'll fit into a nice little backpack if you've got a small backpack or a small handbag, if you're taking it to uni or onto the wards with you or into the community, wherever you are out there working or on placement. It's really handy and it looks like it's wipeable as well. Like the cover's quite nice, I think. Probably not waterproof, but it does definitely look, feels um, wipeable. And massive thank you for letting me review this book. This is amazing. This has been a really good read and it's going to help me in my future as a newly qualified nurse a hundred percent. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for allowing me to review this. And I'm going to give this five out of five.